Today we're going to talk about the operating track controller. What the OTC does for you is it gives you the ability to use your TMCC Cab 1 or Legacy Remote to activate either four uncoupling sections or two operating uncoupling tracks. Now an operating uncoupling track is something that has an electromagnet in the center to uncouple the cars and it has the four accessory rails which activate the slide shoes on special animated cars such as milk cars, barrel cars, twin bay, dump cars, etc. So these, uh, these devices, these operating uncoupling tracks, they come with their own controllers and you can continue to use those controllers in a, in a conventional manner, meaning you walk over to the controller, press the button, or you can choose to operate them off your legacy remote or your cab one. The OTC, much similar to the ASC or AMC or that whole series of devices, has a support end, support side, and a business side. The support side is the DAT and COM. This is the data and the uh, common. This is a red wire and a green wire from something such as the uh, command base cable. This is the cable that connects to the computer port on your command base and then provides the DAT and COM, which is the serial communication line, to the OTC. Red would come in here and come out of here and go to the next device. Green would come into COM, come out and go to the next device in a daisy chain fashion. The other end of the support side is the power. We have A and U. The OTC needs a 14 volt AC fixed supply to operate. It's important to note that the power that you use to power the OTC must be separate from the power that you use up here on the business end. You don't want to tie your operating tracks and the OTC together. You want the OTC to operate on its own independent power supply. So we've got A is, is AC hot, U is AC ground. This A is connected here, this U is connected there. They're connected internally to give you the opportunity to use a heavier gauge wire to bring power into A and U, take power out to the next device, and so on, through all the other uh, OTC, ASC style devices. Let's talk about the business end. The business end of the OTC has two labels on it. OPR for operating track, which means that this first block of four positions is for accessory one. The second block of one through four is for accessory two. These are the four connections used to connect your operating track. And we'll show you how to connect uh, an O gauge or O27 operating uncoupling track as well as a fast track operating uncoupling track to your OTC. The lower section is for uncoupling tracks only. These would just be the electromagnets in the rail that allow you to manually, or not manually, but to uncouple the uh, freight cars without actually reaching over and pushing the plunger. And the way that it works on the uncoupler section, or uncoupler side, is when you're controlling uncouplers, you can control four of them. You've got one and two for accessory one, one and two for accessory two, accessory three, and accessory four. Both uncoupling tracks, uncoupling and operating tracks, and uncoupling tracks are addressed as accessories. Not switches, not engines, but accessories. So you can select whether you want to control operating tracks or uncoupling tracks through programming of the OTC. And we'll get into that in just a few minutes. So to clarify the top of the OTC, we've got operating tracks, two blocks of four positions, and uncoupling tracks, four blocks of two positions. 